Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about how it stands. Stands here refers to a gram standing technique. You know we have seen in gram standing technique that a bacteria which trans crystal violet dye is gram positive bacteria while others which does not retain this crystal violet dye and gets counter stand by saffron and dye are gram negative bacteria and it's a simple differentiation between these two type of bacteria. But why some type of bacteria retains this crystal violet dye why others does not retain this crystal dye? Let's find it out today how this mechanism occurs at molecular level. In gram standing we have primary dye that's crystal violet and secondary dye that's saffron. Crystal violet dyes those bacteria that are having the multiple layers of peptidoglycan in its cell wall. While the counter standing procedure that's from saffron and dye it stands those types of bacteria which are having a mono layer or a single layer of peptidoglycan in its cell wall. Now we will see why and how this occurs. Crystal water has a property of dissociation in aqueous solution. We see the structure of crystal water as C25N30N3 and, and Cl. It gets dissociated into CV positive that is the part from C25N30N3 and, and, and the Cl negative. It gets dissociated into the two charged species that is CV positive and Cl negative. And these two charged species get striped into the cell wall of both gram positive and gram negative bacteria because they are not yet differentiated. So they get trapped into the cell wall of both the types of bacteria. After getting into the cell wall there are different type of interaction of these charged species in the bacterial cell wall. We have the first interaction this between the CV positive and tcoic acid of bacteria. But this tcoic acid is only present in the bacteria containing multiple layer of peptidoglycan in cell wall. Whereas in gram negative bacteria it's absent. In second type of interaction we have CV positive it interacts with the mordant and we use here the mordant as iodine. So CV positive makes complex with iodine in the form of CVI complex. This CVI complex gets deeply trapped into the multiple layers of peptidoglycan in cell wall of gram positive bacteria. Whereas in gram negative bacteria these multiple layers are absent so the CVI complex are easily washed off from gram negative bacteria due to the monolayer nature of peptidoglycan. Second important property of CVI complex it's insoluble in water that means it will never interact with water. So another important thing here we should note here that the alcohol we use in gram standing technique it dehydrates gram positive bacteria only and shrinks the peptidoglycan layer thereby shrinking the peptidoglycan layer CVI complex gets more easily trapped and retains washing whereas in crisis of gram negative bacteria it's easily decolorized by alcohol because they are mono layer of peptidoglycan layer that never traps the CVI complex that's why CVI complex gets washed off from gram negative bacteria and gets counter standing by saffronin dye this was all about the molecular mechanism that lies behind the gram standing technique. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Do share this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel.